Hi everyone, in today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to insert a checkbox in Excel. So before you insert a checkbox, you have to make sure the developer icon is displayed here at the menu bar, like the rest of the icons. So it should be displayed somewhere here. So if it's not available, just right click anywhere at the ribbon and these options will pop up. Go to customize the ribbon and click on it. And then under customize ribbon, go to developer and click on it and then click OK. So you can see the developer icon has been inserted here. So just click on it and then go to insert. Then under form controls, click on this checkbox. From there, click in any cell uh, that you want to input your checkbox. So you can see the checkbox has been inserted with a text in it. To delete the text, just click uh, within the borders and then delete the text by using back, backspace or, or backspace or delete on your keyboard. So uh, I need you to understand something. If you click anywhere within these borders, that is an active area of the checkbox. It can either tick or untick the checkbox. What do I mean? So let's, for example, increase the size of uh, these borders. If you click anywhere within these borders, that is an active area of the checkbox. So let's see. If I click here, you can see the checkbox has been ticked. If I click here, you can see the checkbox has been unticked because those are active areas of the checkbox. They are determined by the borders. So how can you minimize the active area? Just right click on the checkbox and then resize the borders so that you can, you can min minimize the active area of the checkbox. So let's minimize and then you can choose to center your checkbox. So right now, if I click, for example, this area, you can see the checkbox has, has not been ticked because this is not an active area. But if, if I click here within the checkbox, it has been ticked. So to fill uh, the checkbox to the rest of the cells, just select the cell with the checkbox and then put your cursor here at the lower right edge and drag to autofill to the rest of the cells. So you can see the checkbox has been inserted in the rest of the cells. So for example, if, a someone, if someone was to, to choose their leisure activities, they can say they like swimming by clicking, they like reading books, they like watching movies, and so on. So that's it about inserting a checkbox in Excel. If you found this helpful, kindly leave a comment down below. Subscribe to our channel. Like and see you in our next tutorial. Bye!